on oh fuck that's a heli carrier gone Hi guys, Matt Sensen here again uh, for another video. Um, I enjoyed doing a reaction video so much last time with Final Fantasy VII that I am doing another reaction video. This time for a game that Square Enix an um, announced at their E3 conference, which is the Marvel's Avengers game. Um, I'm surprised that Square Enix is doing a game like this because uh, they are famous for their sort of their RPGs and their Japanese style um, games, Japanese uh, sort of Japanese meets sort of the West sort of style, um, and, and they're famous for them sort of games. I've not really known them to do something like an Avengers game or something with such a massive following. It's not usually their style. They create their own worlds and stories, and they are probably the masters at it. Um, but that being said, you can't um, deny that they make good games. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, they're cross with um, sort of Disney when they were doing their Kingdom Hearts worked really well. That was an original story, but the characters obviously would, you know, they took from Disney. So um, let's let's watch this. Find out what it's all about, and I will talk more at the end. Let you know what I thought of the game so far. Anyway, guys, let's watch it. There we go. Oh, see Square Enix. It just don't look right. That looks cool. Graphics look a bit Lego Marvel at the moment. No, actually, no, they're looking really good. Just get my drink, sorry about it guys. Avengers Day. Oh, there's Iron Man. Thor looks a bit weird and so does Captain America. Thing is, we are so used to seeing the, the, the Marvel Universe style characters with Robert Downey Jr. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Oh, the graphics does look really good. But yeah, as I was saying, we're so used to seeing them original styles that anything else looks weird now. Oh, here comes the whole Bruce Banner. Oh, it would have been cool if they showed him sort of the transition from Bruce Banner into the Hulk. But hey, there's a bit of gameplay. But it is looking good. Look at that. No, that. That's really good. Is that a joke? Did Thor make a joke? <laughs> Thor did make a joke. Cap, got yeah. Tank. Come on, Hulk. Take out that tank. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Just toss that like it was nothing. What? They're attacking the heli carrier. What's happening? Come on, Captain America. Dark the Chimera, what's your status? Uh, Black Widow, she's looking cool. As I said, the character design looks a bit weird, don't look right, but because we're so used to seeing the other ones. Um, oh. Fuck, that's a heli carrier gone. Well, Captain America. You know, Captain America, not Captain America, Iron Man looks a bit like uh, the comedian Jack Whitehall. If you don't know who he is, Google him Do the Avengers and tell me danger to society. That, that, was the question that Iron Man just then, or the uh, Tony Stark, doesn't look like Jack Whitehall. Because he fucking does. Uh, so I imagine... But that's not how the story ends. So it's cool. Uh, I think the kind of the hint at it is Avengers reassemble. Oh look, you've got Superior Iron Man as well. What sort of other characters are they going to add into the game? That's what I'm interested in. I mean, if you've ever played um, what are we Ultimate for? Alliance, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, or any of them sort of games, or X Men Legends and stuff, they they added a lot of 
not well known characters into the the game, and it was brilliant. The cast Please was welcome, huge. Please welcome Sean Escott. I mean, I play games like Director, Strike Force, Crystal Dynamics, um, and Bill Roseman, Vice and, President um, and Creative Director, Marvel Games, ooh, and uh, Marvel Contest of Champions. And they have a massive roster on both of them. I mean, Strike Force is not as big, but they're adding more every day. So uh, yeah. two very good. Um, Thank you. iOS and Android Love games you. you can check out. I think Strike yeah. Force is also available now on um, the, uh, on the Amazon Thank store you. as Thank well. You, so we you, for your Kindles and, and, and your fires. Marvel's Avengers to the world. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that I like your t-shirt. Epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience both single player and co-op. So it looks like what it might have like an online element as well. Mightiest heroes. Do I have any true believers in the house? <coughs> yes! Awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to yeah. this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. Our story begins at A-Day. San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast headquarters and the team's custom helicarrier, outfitted with a strange experimental energy source. However, the day turns deadly in an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Well, we saw that. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes dispatched. <laughs> outlaws. It's a bit like Civil War all over Five again. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world. And our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all-new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. Ooh, what happened there? And fighting to get it back. What, the signal? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yeah! I don't know what he said, because it cut out. Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. Yes, Paul. You'll lead the team as a legendary super soldier, Captain America. Yeah. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian God of Thunder. Yeah. You'll channel the anger of science we, and We've batter. kind of been By hinted at these characters. The Honestly, characters that they haven't hinted at. You'll gather intel and strike swiftly as an ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. And finally, she's no like Scarlett Johansson. Let's face the it. Sky as a charismatic Tony Stark, known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. It's known as Iron Man. I've never heard him being called the Armored Iron Man. He is armored. To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. What? We're going to see the voice actors, are we? See if there's any well-known so, names. here we are. Avengers Assemble. Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play... I don't know who Troy Lewis. Baker is. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine, and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. I think it, it's a mask for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to bring out the big green, but I think that 
that Bruce is Does he a play super both complex character. He's fun. Bruce never Spanner him before. and the whole. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core. She's human. She's surrounded by all of this larger than life stuff, and she has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like, 10 or 15 years. For, for me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye, you know. One of the things I think is cool about Cap is I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story. I love the fact that they're trying to give him some really in-depth sort of so storyline, even though we stoked. all know the these characters. Are when they these are, are not new together, characters. But the is... <laughs> and you're trying to not sell them to us. <laughs> but let's face it. Thanks everybody for we, joining we've us. We've all had Can't these to part of our life. The game, but right these now, particular characters you don't have for, to wait for some the last 15 content. years, definitely. But you know, some of us even longer. To be fair, um, I, I, I love Marvel, but do the Avengers pose a danger so to I, society? I that was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Looks a bit like Jesus. Did you even check the science? It was a heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. The Terrigen reactor was unstable. And you knew that. You knew that and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up. We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. Are they talking about Nick Fury? I imagine he was on the helicarrier when it died, uh, being exploded. Please welcome Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior community and social media manager, Chris. I don't Dynamics. need to see a social media manager. Just tell me how you're advertising the game online. I don't need to know that. Oh, I know Hello, you are. <laughs> you've just, just, you've just seen a high-level view of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of I need to get myself one of them little mics. But launch is only Look the good. beginning Might get lost in the beard, of this though. adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years What's she wearing? with exciting new content released at a regular basis. I think she couldn't quite decide on like a jacket Avengers, or a cape, so she was like, you and your screw it, I think I... stronger together. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online. Yeah. Where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the Earth I want to know what other threats. heroes they're going to have in the game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. That's really good. Especially with, I imagine that with the Marvel Universe um, still going and, you know, so a lot more films are coming out for is them. That we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's all fair. It's literally going to be on your skill. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> Marvel Games. I know you're out here. <laughs> Idos Montreal. I forgot to here. cheer. He had to kind of. Mixed software. Our new Crystal Northwest studio. Oh, not getting a lot of and cheers. Everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero yeah. dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign, its original story, and our superheroes in action. See him rubbing so, his hands, sinking up the money. He's pretty much got the dollar PS4, signs in his hands. Yeah, I'm going to be Xbox rich. One, I'm going to be rich. And PC. Let's hope that you're not flogging a dead horse, though. You, you know, this might have been a good game to bring and out while, um, you know, the Avengers movies were awesome still being made. But we're items. at the end of that chapter, and these characters are now gone. Including you know, early Thor, beta I access. think he's probably going to be in the next... Um, Guardians and of the Galaxy, which are really good films, that will be revealing add. in the future. Um, I don't know what we're going to see of Hulk. But before we go, 
We have one final glimpse into but our world. Iron Man's dead. Including when Sorry, you if you haven't seen Endgame, game. there's spoilers. I should probably have added that. This and Captain is America what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, True he's Believers. He's died of old age. Well, he ain't dead, but he's, he, he's close to dead. He's, uh, you know. Just coughing, dodging at the moment. Hank? That oh, look fresh. Hank Pym. Come on, Tony, live a little. I imagine that's Hank Pym. <laughs> yeah, he just shrunk it. Look at it. It was huge. Now it's tiny. Unbelievable. It worked. Oh, do you know what? It's not actually that small. It's sort of cute when they're small. No, it should be ah, smaller. You for a second, Hank. Really, it should be smaller. If you think how small a grown man shrinks down to less than ant size because he enters the the you know the micro universe. Yes, Hulk. Well, he's just a brawler, and I always get bored with him. Even on the other games I'm playing, uh, he's, he's just a very one-dimensional style character with his fighting. Black Widow, again, she's a, she's a brawler. She's a fighter. She might have some techs and stuff like that, but if you want all that tech and stuff, you might as well go back to Iron Man because he's all suited up, literally. The armored Iron Man, as they called him. I've never heard him been called that. Um, and they hinted at Superior Iron Man, I noticed, which is cool. I mean, you know, that's Iron Man's space suit. I think he's uh, he takes um, sort of the uh, the symbiote um, strain, like that creative venom in Spider Man, and and infuses it with his suit. I'm sure that's what he does, and that's how he can pre um, creates the superior Iron Man. As I said, I'm no expert at Marvel. I'm really not. Um, I, I'm not really. You know, my earliest Marvel memories was um, the X Men. That's what I grew up on. That's how I grew to love Marvel. Iron Man, Captain America. I knew of them, but they weren't big names. To be honest, they weren't originally that big names anyway it was spider-man he was massive and the hulk was massive um you know he's filmed he's had tv shows and stuff like that in the 70s and you know he was one of the first ones out of the avengers the original avengers to get a movie um it was a shit movie let's be totally honest and they've tried to redo a hulk movie so many times and every time they failed um so yeah um it looks good as i was saying it does look good um an online element if what they say is true they will not charge us for extra characters i mean how big is this roster going to be for it to be the marvel world um marvel studios are involved um even though disney owns most of them now uh, marvel studios i don't know if marvel games is the part of marvel studios because if it is then they've got the rights to all of the characters um i think even fantastic four has now gone back to marvel no longer owned by fox x-men will they be in it they are marvel characters but fox still owns the rights to them um after dark phoenix i think their contract is pretty much up um i don't think they're going to release any more films i think that's it they are uh, x-men's done let's hope that they go back to marvel studios and disney and they really really give x-men the films they deserve let's face it wolverine is part of the avengers too so he could make an appearance in later films who knows anyway this video isn't about my speculation of where the marvel universe is going so i'm going to stop there it was all about the uh the new game that's coming out with Square Enix. Guys, let me know what you thought of the uh, the video. Let me know what you think of the gameplay and the graphics and uh, what it was like seeing these loved characters for the last 15 years having a new face and style. Like they said, that's their own take on it, which they have every right to do. But how do you feel about it? Do you think you can grow to love these characters not seeing like Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark? Um, Comment below, let me know what you think. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notifications. Let me know if you liked my second reaction video. If you do, I'm more than happy to do more. Give me any sort of opinions on what you might like me to view next, then react and commentate on. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Have a good evening, and I will catch you all soon. Have a good one.